Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the ninth episode of Isekai Maoto Shokan Shoujo no Dore Majitsu. And in the last episode, our characters had to deal with that big bad monster that the horrible elf created, well, summoned, and that was a little bit more difficult than I expected, but it was still doable. Uh, the main the main issue with the episode was that we had to take down a very powerful warrior, like a much higher level than anyone, anyone Diablo has fought before in this new world. So, who like came fully prepared with his capture device and all that at a time when Diablo would be weakened, but even with all those disadvantages, Diablo was still able to power through and win, which is pretty great. And even though Diablo wasn't willing to do it himself, the evil elf was killed, so that's that's great as well. Even though, sure, I might have a different opinion on that matter, but, you know, to be fair, she has a slightly different perspective on it. But anyway, that was how the last episode went. Well, I, I should probably at least mention the whole Sylvia advent which was pretty nice diablo had some very nice nice uh bonding time with sylvie it's sylvie not sylvia i i think i called her sylvia but sylvie yes that was pretty enjoyable we didn't have rem or shara walk in on that but we might have them walk in on you know it after and ask questions about what happened there that might happen it may not we'll see so let's get into it three two one play I once again forgot to mention this, but I'm watching the uncensored version. So, you know, timing will be a little bit different than the official one. Uh, we, we started off very edgy, it seems. <laughs> I disagree. Don't think that's true either. But yeah, that that was a bit darker than the show usually gets, so uh, okay. I don't think we know that character yet. I mean, we saw two characters there in the beginning, a female and a guy. The female might be, uh, what was her name? That girl. I don't remember her name. It might be her. Maybe a, some of her backstory that might have been before she changed her ways. I, I don't know. It was dark. We saw her from the behind, far away, but it might be the same girl. Alicia, I think, is her name. Man, Shira, you know how to work that bow. And did you that little glimpse you got there? You can tell we're gonna get at least some backstory of Alicia. As usual, my face just starts itching when I start recording, because why not? Uh, <laughs> summoning magic? Oh. Oh god. Uh, what did you just- what is that abomination, Shira? Holy Night Tale, so yeah, definitely about Alicia. Busy what, killing people? Someone dragging the sword on the ground? Possibly a bloody sword? <laughs> She's just getting out of there. Crystal. Yeah, they had a rough day. <laughs> Do you think that? Are they all dead now? T 
<laughs> no, I just like to kill them. <sighs> oh, goody. Yeah, she definitely looks concerned to hear that. <laughs> well, you don't say. <laughs> Starting with the belly, of course, because that's where the demon lord is. <laughs> and because she has a nice belly. So, be careful what you summon here, Shara. Don't summon an abomination. Yeah, that first bit barely really felt like it was from the same show as everything else. Much better than I was as concerned. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Not as good as your other summon. That's kind of useful, yeah, but... <laughs> Way to bring her down. And gotta show Diablo when she says that. Wow, that's reassuring. That's so probably fairly important. Just like in general. Of course they weren't. Well, if you insist. Oh, you, you eat it? Or... And there's- oh god, uh, that looks painful. Well, he didn't have a ring on, so... <laughs> That'd be a very different series. Money. Fetch? Are you playing fetch? Or are we just throwing it for, sh for no reason? Okay, so it is fetch. You know, I don't know how fast that thing flies. That pudgy pidgey. Is it that impressive? Oh no, because she can see through it. Okay, I get it now. I was confused for a little for like a second, but I got it. That would be pretty cool. Yay! Found it! That's half of our budget, we gotta recover that. And yeah, you'd be much more accurate with your bow if you could have a closer view. Well, if, we, if you got experience with that, of course. <laughs> of course. If only you had a smartphone that lets you look up information. Of course you do. Like, is it a REM smell? REM, did you fart? <laughs> uh, that's just mean. It's probably the demon lord inside of her. <laughs> you two should totally take a bath together. Yes, thank you for being way ahead of me. I got my screenshot button ready. <laughs> well, of course. What kind of person would wear those while bathing? Oh man, Rem. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that... Yeah, listen to whatever she's saying right now. Yeah, Diablo, what are you waiting for? Well, I do. If you don't... If you don't want to be a part of this, I, I'll switch... 
<laughs> Just good god, Rem. I know, right? How rude can you get, Diablo? <laughs> Whew. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> All of the yes. Are you sure you don't want to be a part of this, Diablo? <laughs> yes, yes, please. Why not? Oh, God. <laughs> this is the uncensored version, all right. <laughs> and once again, I'm glad the webcam doesn't show me from the waist down. Yeah, you're the one that's deliberately missing out on this, dude. Can we move the camera back over there, please. Oh, is it the is it the fallen? Yep. It's the important one. Gonna have difficulty finding a thumbnail for this episode, I just know it. I fa I I heard there was a cute naked cat girl playing in the water here. I had to I had to come. Who? <laughs> Phrasing, but yeah, Demon Lord. Yeah, they're definitely starting to get into that. This episode, crap, I missed my chance to screenshot that. Went by too quickly. Yeah, she doesn't know yet. She doesn't even really want to tell Diablo. He just kind of, you know, found out, but... I'm just glad we're finally starting to address this. I don't think- I think she'll take that well enough, though. So I guess bath time's over. Gotta get into the plot stuff? Okay. Okay. Yes, I knew Shara would be more than help. More than happy to be helpful here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I missed you. But you haven't killed me yet. <laughs> I guess that's reassuring. Does it involve lewdness? Because I assume it does. Oh. Okay, so... I was right about... The very deliberate baby birth symbolism they were going with. Sounds good. Yes. This is how she gets into the harem, okay. I was curious how that would work. Because there always had to be some sort of catalyst for her to come back and join up. <laughs> yes, I look forward to that. I wouldn't say that. His ability to reflect magic is more useful than you might think. So I don't know, Bo. Huh. Okay. Be what I assume is a very lewd ritual because, you know, I know this anime. I'm going to assume Alicia is going to interrupt this in some capacity or the guy Alicia was talking to.
very awkwardly quiet. There's Alicia. And man, look at all those cats. This is a cat cafe. I'm glad this world has those. I, I guess she can't wait for her turn. Saddler, I should try to remember his name. Oh, wow. That's nothing to sneeze at. Yeah. Plus, Paladins are probably better at fighting a demon lord. <laughs> I'm no worshiper, I'm the real thing. I think Shira's had enough of that. I mean, Rem kind of had a bit of that too with Diablo, if you really count that. <laughs> ah, I can be a Hikikomori, I, I got that. I doubt it as well, but... Might be some sort of twist with that. <laughs> sneaking, sneaking. No, of course they run into friggin' Paddler. <laughs> I was trying to avoid you, sir. I seem to have failed. I am Diablo, the Demon Lord. I probably shouldn't introduce himself like that, though. <laughs> Define normal, I mean. Did he really say that? Oh my god. I was kind of thinking that maybe it would just been in his head, but he's such serious. He said that. <laughs> he took it better than I expected. Though he has a weird personality, so it's hard to say. <laughs> oh god. Okay, this is more what I was expecting. I mean, they have plenty to hide. <laughs> That's not a very good answer. Diablo beat him up. Yeah, what's your problem, Mr. Daddler? Wow. She's not just a slave, she's my slave. You keep your palette of magic off of Rem. <sighs> Seriously, Diablo, just hit him or something. Do something at least. You know he's obviously tormented her with magic in some capacity. That's all you need to know to attack him. Well, obviously. <laughs> Well, obviously. Yeah, when the paladin's a douche like you. No, I'm questioning you. Good luck with that. Yeah, he has a magic repelling ring, I mean. <laughs> Talk to the hand. <laughs> Get wrecked, asshole. Of course, the whole town probably saw that. 
Yes, thank you. I was hoping that's what happened. <laughs> well, I guess he's no longer a threat. <laughs> I just gotta push him over. Pretty, in pretty impressive, isn't it? Uh... Which should be very helpful in a game. <laughs> Hopefully not. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's hurry up and knock him over. <laughs> just carrying him off. <laughs> At least he's dealt with for the time being. Yeah, seriously. That's that's what we're saying. <laughs> yes, he's not a good person. More of the point is a psychotic person, it seems like. If there's a next time, he'll be more prepared. More careful. You know how many times you had to run with that one guy that ended up bringing in the one fallen? He became more of a pain every time. You do gotta get along with the ritual. I don't think that's a good idea. Really worried about her. I don't think she's as simple as being a nice person. I think she has a very complicated backstory. Maybe a conflict of interest somewhere. Yeah, she's just... It's not as simple as she's a nice person. We can tell her this. You haven't even known each other that long. She's really not one of us. She's just she's just there. She's not one of the core three. I still think it's a mistake to do this. So I'm just putting that out there. But that is a really nice hug. <laughs> oh. That's great. Almost like almost like Alicia is putting up a front here. No, I think Alicia might not be as trustworthy as we think. I don't think she's a bad person, but I think she might have a good reason to betray us is kind of what I'm leaning towards. Like something she values more than our friendship, you know. Kind of what I'm getting at. I just, I, I think this is a mistake, and Diablo's comment there kind of confirmed that. It's just a matter of exactly how she betrays us, but I'm expecting that scene now. But I don't think she's a bad person, so I think in the end we'll get past whatever happens and work things out in the end. Ah, uh, indeed. Tell me more about the places you enjoy. Well, I could do that, but it wouldn't be safe for YouTube then. I mean, yeah, we never did get that follow-up with the whole Sylvia thing, but that's fine. I wasn't really expecting it, to be honest. Finally had her come back, which is nice. And she did come back at the best possible time, just... Well, bad for me, because she kind of interrupted a what was it before a wonderful scene. I love you too. Oh. 
So we are going to get the Demon Lord Awakened next episode. Cool. Sounds like a cute voice, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> Just watching every moment of that. That was that was perfect. That that was perfect. Okay, so that was the ninth episode of Isekai Maoto Shokan Shoujo no Dore Majitsu. And we started off with so showing a bit of uh, Alicia slash Gattler uh, stuff. Just, you know, kind of remind us that Alicia is not really part of the group. She's kind of her own thing. She just kind of helps us out a little bit, which I think was kind of the point of that scene. So, yeah, I think she has kind of a complicated backstory that we will get into eventually. Because, like I said in the opening, we do see what seems like flashback stuff with her. So I think we'll get into that at some point. And later on, near the end of the episode, because of mostly because of Diablo's comments, I became convinced of it, that she definitely is going to have a certain moment where we're like, Alicia, how could you do this to us? I thought we were friends. I feel like we're going to get a scene like that at some point, and then we'll get into more details exactly on her backstory uh, after that. But more importantly, we had a scene where you had Shira, well, I guess I should get into the summoning thing first. Shira decided to, to do some more summoning stuff and then use the enslavement magic on something that can't repel it back at, at her with uh, with the magic ring because you wouldn't want to be a, a slave to that thing, that'd be horrible. And it's not even that useful really, but I guess the one use it does have is it can kind of scout for you. And you can see through its eyes, which would be pretty cool, I'll admit, but I'd rather have a summoning that can, you know, pick up my enemy and crush them in their hands and beat them to a pulp, or at least, you know, there's a sexy girl at the very least. Uh, you know, one of the two. Preferably both if we could make that work, but I'm not going to be too picky on that. So that was what Shara was doing a lot of the time. And then we kind of transitioned from that to, hey, Ram, you, you, you kind of smell, but you think you need a bath. I, that's not true. Well, I, we need to take a bath anyway, so that's what we're going to do. And that's what they ended up doing. And yeah, they just they wasted no time. And they were very much willing to have Diablo join them, which makes sense, you know. I like how we had none of that, you know. Baka, close your eyes, don't look while we bathe kind of stuff that you get in a lot of anime. I like how they were just more than willing to be like, hey, yeah, Diablo, come with us. Just don't be rude. Just we're, we're bathing. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't you go with us? But him being the Higikomori probably version that he is, he's not really up for that. He's just like, no, that's far too much for me. I'll just sit by my rock alone for a while and just enjoy the... Uh, I'll just imagine the wonderful scene that's behind me in the water. And it definitely was a wonderful scene. Like, uh, they, they were both naked in the water, playing around. There was some licking involved. There was definitely some licking involved. Some grabbing, some groping, some almost tearing off. <laughs> Uh, there, it was just, there was also some hugging. There's definitely some hugging, too. It was just a very, very nice scene with a lot of shots and a lot of great skinship is really what it came down to. That was probably, no, that was definitely the highlight of the episode. Then we had Edelgard, I believe her name is, who just kind of showed up and she's like, Hey, Rim, I hear you have a Demon Lord baby in your belly, in your womb. Uh, and I wanted to touch you to make sure that was true. And I just touched you, so now I know that's true. And like, oh no, don't say that. Shira doesn't know that. You're revealing all my secrets. And then, you know, Shira was told what was up. And Shira accepted it pretty well, which I figured she would. And she was very help. She was very understanding of it, you know, more than willing to help and all that, which I, like I said, I expected that. She's a good girl. She's very close to very, <laughs> very close with Rem. So that's to be expected. And we just kind of established that, yeah, this whole demon lord baby thing, we got to take care of that in the near future, which is going to be next episode. This was kind of set up for that. And we just we we also established that Edelgard is not going to try to kill Rem. Apparently, they were kind of worried about how Fallen would, you know, deal with Rem if they found out the Demon Lord was in there. But she seems to not want to kill her. So at the, at the very least, so that's that's good. That'd make the harem a bit awkward if we had two harem members wanting to murder each other. That that always complicates things a bit. So that's what that was. Uh, what else happened in the episode? You know, uh, right. The rest of the stuff was basically you had. Alicia, who finally showed back up with the rest of the group and tried to quickly get them to the end for safety, but it didn't work because, you know, Paddler there just showed up with his entourage and was like, hey, Alicia, what are you doing? Uh, are these, what are, what, are, what are these people? Then Diablo goes like, I am the master demon lord himself. Bor worship me and bow before me, you peasants. You know, his usual kind of thing. However, that was not a smart thing to say in front of this psychotic paladin, level 100 psychotic paladin, so... I did not end well, so we had a bit of conflict there. He started choking one of my slaves, which is not acceptable. So we punished him by bouncing his petrification magic back at him. 
which is good. The only downside is we didn't kill him afterwards, which will probably come back and bite us like like it did with the one uh, Magic Association dude that kept coming back over and over and over again to try to screw us over. Whether it was with a fire elemental summon thing, whatever that was, or getting the elves to shoot at us, or bringing a fall into the city itself. Just uh, in, a, in a similar way where letting that guy go kept screwing us over, I feel like that would probably happen with this guy as well. We should have at least a little bit before he come, goes back to normal. So he's probably going to be out of the picture for a while. Alicia, yeah, I think, may be more of an antagonist for this upcoming arc, because, like I said, it seems to be kind of foreshadowing that. And, just, yeah, that'll be a bit awkward to deal with when the time comes, especially because of how how Rem really does feel like she's very close to Alicia. She's close friends with her. She wants to trust her like this. It's going to hurt if we do get that kind of why did you betray us type scene. So I'm not really looking forward to that, but if and when we do get that, hopefully we can work things out well enough, but I can see that being a pretty emotional scene. Uh, one way or the other. But that's that was pretty much the episode. I very much enjoyed our water bathing bonding scene. Definitely the highlight of the episode for me. And next episode, we are going to finally get into the Demon Lord summoning. The, the ritual. I don't know exactly how this ritual is going to go. I don't think they gave too many details on it. But because of how the whole Diablo learning to sense magic with Sherab scene with the slave trader. Because of how that went, I'm going to assume this is an equally lewd ritual. Because Shara got her lewd ritual time, I figure Rem can get her lewd ritual time. And because of the whole baby birthing symbolism thing they're kind of going with here, I feel like that makes it even more likely. So that'll be interesting one way or the other. What's also interesting is that the demon lord that we got in the preview near the end, that sounded like a cute girl voice, like just a normal cute girl. It didn't really sound like the voice of the, the big demon lord we see in the opening, you know, the big monster with the tits that is quite quite clearly the demon lord in, inside Rem. So maybe we'll already get to see her in her waifu form. Because my theory is that the, the demon lord, that's what she looks like normally, but she does, well, that's one of her forms, and then she'll have a bit more of a waifu form. Uh, that will actually join the harem later on, which is also the girl we see in the ED with the tail. That's my current theory. It's, it's probably not completely correct, but one or the other, I'm sure the Demon Lord will have some sort of waifu form in the end. That much I'm sure. Because we wouldn't have a detail like the Demon Lord being female, which is something they specifically said. They wouldn't bother to say that in an etchy harem anime if, the, if she wasn't going to become a harem member. That They would not bother to specify that detail if that wasn't the case. I can tell you that right now. So I'm almost positive she'll be a hair member in some capacity. So that'll be something to look forward to for sure. And yeah, just another another really good episode. Uh, a daily reminder to always pick up the uncensored version when you watch this show. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching, and thank you Snoky, as well as everyone else, for doing what you can to support the channel. It means a lot to me, and I hope we can continue to grow the channel together. If you want to do more to support the channel, then you can become a patron on my Patreon and get cool rewards like early access to certain videos. Have a good one.